strong favourites to beat Guinea in only their second appearance in the African nations. In the white, Guinea weren't expected to trouble Cameroon too much. Once again, defensive errors were going to prove the key to this match. And it was an early defensive error that led to the opening breakthrough after just nine minutes. Tachami had got the first goal for Cameroon against Pakita Faso. And once again, he was to be instrumental in the opening goal here after nine minutes. This time with plenty of room to shoot. And although Diallo made the effort, the opening goal coming after nine minutes, and it was no surprise. Cameroon's in front, Giddy behind, and it looked like the start of a routine victory for Cameroon. The only Guinea player who'd uh, shown any class in the opening half an hour was Ulare. And it was poor play by Cameroon that led to the first major opportunity for Guinea after 27 minutes. Ulare on the chase, beating the keeper. He had more time, but he shot wide. And that was to be a very costly mistake. Songo let off. He was well out of his area. There was plenty of time for Ulare. No goalkeeper, but shooting wide. One that it remained until just before the half-time break. Cameroon appealing to be in complete control of this match. They were to get their opportunity for a second goal. Free kick given for the foul outside the box. Uh, Silla penalised for touching to Charmy. If he did or not is debatable. And anyway, play on could surely have been the result. Nevertheless, a free kick given. Wome to take it and curl it spectacularly into the net. 2-0, half-time, and Cameroon looking assured to earn the second win, which would be enough to take them through to the quarter-finals. Fine free kick, really giving the guinea keeper Diallo no chance. Chotang ran over it, and put in nicely by Wome. Start of the second half, and the one thing that uh, Guinea needed was an early goal. But I'm sure even their most optimistic supporters can't have expected the start they made. Inside a minute at the start of the second half, Songo comes out, caught in no man's land. It was dreadful goalkeeping, an open goal, and Ulare made no mistake. Songo was to be heavily criticised by the Cameroon coaching staff for that error and it was in fact his, to be his final appearance in the competition and his position as first choice goalkeeper for Cameroon must shout surely be in doubt. Guinea continued to try and press forward but Cameroon always looked the more likely to get a second goal and then came the injury to the Guinea keeper Diallo 63 minutes gone a freak accident he went over on his ankle and Diallo would have to be replaced by Kemoko Kamara so Guinea having to make a change in goal 2-1 down and there appeared very little hope for them then 77 minutes, Songo again, they're fully exposed, Ulare in. And amazingly, 2-2. Completely against the run of play, really. Ulare had snatched a highly unlikely draw and point for Guinea, which left us with a situation going into their last match, that Cameroon would have to beat or avoid defeat against Algeria, depending on the result of Burkina Faso against Algeria.
Cameroon, Algeria to come. This one, Cameroon, Guinea, finished 2-2.